Hi guys. So I'm sure most of you are aware of the star that has been in our skies. Um, I've been watching it basically since day one, and I knew within a week or two that it was a sign from God. I just knew it. And then about a week and a half ago or so, I watched that video of that little four-year-old girl that says that Jesus downloads things into her brain. And he was talking about the star of Bethlehem and how he put this sign in the sky to let us know that he was coming back very, very soon. So if you guys haven't watched the video, you really need to, to watch it. The original channel is Diana Land Dress. So L-A-N-D-R-E-S-S. -S. Um, she's just so super cute and how she just says how Jesus just downloads things into her brain. Um, but that was just a confirmation for me. So I've been watching this star every night. And on Sunday night, I took my dogs out and I was watching this star. And it was getting bright and then it was getting dim and then it was getting bright again. And then all of a sudden it started blinking almost like SOS. And I just kind of said to the Lord, like, are you, you know, telling me something? Like, are you coming back, you know, soon? Um, so I just watched it for a few minutes. And then I went to the east side of the house to get my dogs. And I looked up and there was a full moon and it was so big and bright. And there was a cloud there. It was kind of cloudy. And it, I had a deja vu moment. I remembered this dream that Jesus was peeking from behind this cloud. And he said, ready or not, here I come. And it was so identical to this dream. It just gave me chills. And then I thought, is this the rapture? Like I was going to lift off because I lifted off into my dream, into the air. So then I came in and I started watching John Hagee. And he was talking about Jerusalem Jubilee. That was his sermon. And at the end of the sermon, he started talking about the four blood moons and how that was a sign from the Lord that he was coming soon. And we all know the Bible verse, the sun will become dark and the moon will turn blood red before that great and glorious day of the Lord. And that's in Acts, Joel, and Revelations. So I'm just, you know, wondering if the Lord is warning us of something with a blood moon and is one coming up and is something going to happen I don't know but I kind of find it strange that now all of a sudden it's just resurfacing again and people are doing videos people are seeing the blood moons and then I saw it on the license plate and then John Hagee last night and so that's got my mind turning a little bit on if something's going to happen. I'm not sure, but then we have people talking about an April rapture. That's all over YouTube, how people are having dreams. And um, I watched a video, I think it was this morning, that this lady had a dream that the, the rapture was in April. People are talking about the high watch from March 28th to the 16th because of Passover and Easter. Then you have Steve Fletcher talking about Nissan 10. Um, I believe Gigi had a dream about April. So that triggered my dream about that little baby that was named Jules that was wearing that purple t-shirt that said Happy Easter on it. So I don't want to get my hopes up too high on an April rapture, um, I'll get them up a little bit, but not too high just in case. But we do have John from Watchmen from That Great Day that's talking about Daniel's 70th week, and that's in May. So you guys, a lot of things are pointing to 
you know, the next month or two. And of course, you guys know my thoughts on 5777. And I just truly don't think we have more than six months to go. But that's just my opinion. And then I was watching a video from Dabu that was talking about an earthquake that happened in Yellowstone and I didn't hear nothing of it and I only live 45 miles from Yellowstone and I have lived here for 14 years and we've never had an earthquake here. I know they've had them in Yellowstone but I never felt them. They weren't strong enough for us to feel them. But that triggered a dream that I had about two years ago and in my dream I was sleeping and I woke up to the TV and there was a picture of a soldier that was laying on the ground and he had his rifle with a scope on it and I could see through the scope and the sun was shining and it was forming a cross through the scope and it was either a pastor or a news reporter or somebody was talking on on there saying I can't remember the exact words, but it was something like, don't fear what is coming, that the Lord will protect us. And then in my dream, I went into the bathroom and then this earthquake hit. And then I was being tossed all around my bathroom. And then as soon as the earthquake stopped, I went into the bedroom and all these army men came um, storming into the bedroom. And my husband was sleeping in my dream. And then he just woke up like, what? What's going on? And then that was the end of my dream. So yeah, Dabu kind of triggered that back to my memory. <clears throat> but I'm just, you guys, I'm, I'm, my spirit is just stirred up like never before. It's, it's like getting excitement anxiety though I just I can't describe it it's been with me for like 24 hours now and I just can't shake it it's almost like I've had too much coffee kind of shaking you know what I'm saying but it's it's anxiety it's happiness and um I don't know if I'm just seeing all these signs and just you know, getting my hopes up on, you know, getting out of here in the next month. You know, the star of Bethlehem is just really sitting tight with me. Um, but you guys, I just wanted to share all this. And just, you guys, we just need to keep praying that we're counted worthy. And that we just keep being a blessing to others. And keep our lamps filled. And keep our eyes to the heavens and just know that everything that we've been talking about on YouTube and the rapture and the end times is truly coming to an end. It's about to become a reality. In the twinkling of an eye, our angels will come and escort us to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in the air where we will be his and he will be ours forever and ever. And I just cannot wait for that day. But I will let you guys go with that and I will talk to you later. God bless.